This video is brought to you by Baber and Bioinformatics, providers of bioinformatics training, consultancy and software. Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install VirtualBox and set up a virtual machine on your system. VirtualBox is a useful program because it allows you to install a full operating system on your own machine. This is very useful, for it means all the software that you may need during a training course can be bundled in one simple package which you can run while on the course itself. So, how do we download VirtualBox? Well, the first thing you need to do is go to the VirtualBox website. So, in the URL bar on your browser, if you type in www.virtualbox.org and click enter, you'll go to the website and you just need to download the latest version which is on the home page here so if you just click on this um, the current latest version is 5.2.12 um, and now you've got a choice it depends on what system your computer is running if your operating system is windows you want to click the windows system if it's a mac you want to cl click on this and if it's linux we click on this I'll just show you to start with how to install it on a Mac. So if you click on the, the Mac link, you'll see that the software is downloading. It's a fairly large file. It's about 90 megabytes, which may take a few minutes to download depending on your, um, on your internet connection. So that's nearly downloaded. And when it does, what you'll do is you'll then install the software. Once you've downloaded the software, navigate to the folder to where the software was downloaded. There you'll see this DMG file. Simply open the DMG file. And it will extract, and you should see a screen similar to this. Now double click on the VirtualBox PKG file. And after several moments, you should see it starts verifying. Once you do this, you should see an installer message. Click on continue. And click on continue once again. Click on continue and click on install. And at this point you may need to type in your administrator's password. And now install the software. Once this is installed, click close. And then I would advise moving the installer to the trash. You should now see the VirtualBox icon is available. And if you click on this, you will open VirtualBox. And you should see a screen similar to this saying, Welcome to VirtualBox. So now I'm just going to run through how to install um, VirtualBox on a Windows system. So it's very similar to actually doing it on a Mac. If you just click on the Windows uh, download box, uh, on the Windows download link, and VirtualBox will start downloading, which is what you see here. And the time it takes to download will depend upon your internet connection. It may take a few seconds or a few minutes. But once it's downloaded, the simplest thing to do is probably to just open and then run the software. So if you just click run like that. And this pop-up box should appear, and this is the installation wizard. So if you just click Next, and then if you want to install everything in the default locations, just click Next. And then leave all of these checked if you just click Next once again, and then begin with the installation. So just click Yes, and now click Install. And the installation will start. And this may take several minutes, but when this is completed, the installation should be just like it is on a Mac and you'll be able to use VirtualBox. 
Once VirtualBox is installed, you should see an icon like this on your computer. To open VirtualBox, just double click the icon. Then you should see a window similar to this. And that means VirtualBox is now running on your machine. So now that you've installed VirtualBox, the next thing you want to do is actually install a virtual machine with inside VirtualBox. We have provided a stripped down version of Linux, which is very simple, which you can download from our website, um, shown here. If you can install this virtual machine, then you should be able to install a full virtual machine with all the additional software that's been added. So to download the virtual machine, if you just copy the link shown here, and then if you paste this into the URL bar of a internet browser, and what you will see is the test.ova file will have downloaded. And we can go and have a look. And there it is. It's been successfully downloaded. And now what we need to do is import that into VirtualBox. So if you open up VirtualBox, you'll see this screen. And to import the OVA file, if you go into File, Port Appliance, and then you need to go to the location where the OVA file has been downloaded to, so if you just click on this, you just need to navigate to that folder, which is for me in the downloads folder, but it may be different for you. So you just have to make a note of where you've downloaded the OVA file to and then navigate to that location. And now if you just highlight the OVA file and click open and click continue and click import, and now you'll see that the uh, virtual machine has been imported into virtual box and you should see this Bayroom Bioinformatics test virtual machine in the little dialog box on the left. So all we do to start the virtual machine is double click on this link here. Um, and this is analogous to actually starting up a computer within your computer. So it boots up a new operating system, which is a stripped down Linux system. So let's just double click on this. And VirtualBox opens, and then the Linux system opens. And you should see a message like this saying you have successfully installed the test virtual machine. This is useful because this is a good indicator that when we send you an image of a full Linux distribution with our bioinformatics software on it, and test data files, that should also run within your virtual machine. And then within this self-contained environment, you'll be able to run the bioinformatics software required for the course exercises. So to turn off your system, if you just click on these crosses here to close these little captions, and then this particular operating system can be closed if you just right click on the desktop and click exit and then click OK to shut down and then the operating system closes down and then you can close your virtual box and that's pretty much all there is to it so essentially what you've learned is how to install virtual box on your machine whether that be a Mac or Windows system and then how to get hold of the virtual image we send you how to download that and then install that within VirtualBox, get it running, see the test window, and then close the VirtualBox. And if that's all working, then there should be hopefully no problem in running the full distribution with all the software on your own computer. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. This video is brought to you by Baber and Bioinformatics, providers of bioinformatics training, consultancy, and software.